Okay. And then, um, you know, unmute yourself or wave at me if you can't hear me or something like that. Um, all right. So today we are going to do full body strength training and you can use a pair of dumbbells or a pair of water bottles or a pair of wine bottles or just your own body weight. So that's totally fine. Um, if at any point during this workout, you start to feel sick or anything like that, you don't feel well or something hurts, just stop. Don't do anything that's going to make you feel worse. And of course you can turn on your own music and play that in the background. So let's get started with our warm up. Let's start by rolling those shoulders up and back. Yep. Oh. <laughs> this is what really gets to me. I do this like, I find myself just doing this at my desk when I need a little bit of a break. I'm just like, okay, I need to roll my shoulders here, move this. And then let's go forward. That and the wrist. So we're gonna do a little wrist warm up here too. And I repositioned my microphone. <laughs> So hopefully you'll be able to hear me throughout the entire thing. <laughs> if you wonder why I have all of these lights <laughs> beeping and everything, <laughs> I'm bionic. You know, I have my my zone on, I have my microphone on. Just trying to make it so you guys can hear me. So giving yourself a big hug and opening up those arms. All right, let's go ahead and clasp your hands together. This is our wrist warm up here. You're gonna do it like a figure eight. So we're just going to turn the wrists over and just trying to find what that end range of motion is here. Get that nice stretch over the top. Really kind of dig into that wrist. And, and again, you're not trying to force yourself into any position. Just trying to feel where is that? Where is that tension? Now you can also add a little bit of, I'm not very good at this, I'm not a dancer, <laughs> but shoulder rolls here and get just a little bit more movement in the scapula, then reverse it, go the other way. This is our little funky dance to loosen everything up. All right, shake that out. Let's try this one. Go all the way up above your head, reach those fingertips up, and now pull those elbows down and back. Try to keep your rib cage down, so no arching the back here. Chin is level with the ground, eyes looking forward. Squeeze right in the middle of the back, and relax, and do it again. Reach those arms up, and from here, let's do a little reach to one side. Try to push that side up. And then the other side, stretch out the side of the body, your lats, your obliques. All right, one more each side. And then pull down and back. And you should feel this stretch over the top of your shoulders and your collarbones. And relax. All right, let's get down into our hips here. So let's start with just a march. Knees come up to about the hip level right here. And while you're doing this march, check out your form. Torso stays really tall. Try to stay really balanced. Chin level with the ground, right? Shoulders are rolled down and back, relaxed up here. Relaxed. And we'll make this a little bit more intense as we go. So I want you to pause right here, bring one knee up and out and then drop it down and then we're going to come back. So this is like you're stepping over something. Stepping over a gate, <laughs> stepping over a large rock, a pile of textbooks. I know how it is. We brought everything home, right? <laughs> it's now in piles on the floor. So we're training. We're training for life. All right. Now we're going to go out to the side in that same march, okay? So this is going to be stretching out those adductors, the inner thighs. We're still just going up to hip height. You might even feel this in your glutes a little bit. 
trying to warm up those hips. Nice, keep breathing. All right, here we go. Feet forward again, let's do some butt kickers. So from here, we're just trying to kick our own butts, which is what this workout is all about, right? So if you have a mirror, you can check yourself out and notice when you're doing anything like this, make sure that your knee is right underneath your hip and you are just bringing your heel up towards your butt. It doesn't matter if you kick, okay? Try not to arch like so. Okay, we're not trying to get as far as possible. So our abs are still tight, hips are still level, and we're not tipping our hips forward or arching our back. Nice. All right, let's actually increase our heart rate a little bit. We're gonna add some arms, pulling back. How do I like to do this? There we go, there's my timing. So pulling back as you're kicking your butt, as you're bringing your heel up towards your butt. We'll be here for about 20, 30 seconds. Getting that heart rate up. Chest is lifted. Looking forward. Squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back like you're doing a row. Looking good. Getting a little heat in the body here. All right, let's step back and arms go up. Step back, arms up. Now, we're gonna start here with just a little step. Arms go up as you step back. Remember to go at your own pace. This is all for you. So you go as fast or as slow as you want. And you can also go as deep into that lunge as you want. So as you get a little bit warmer, you can see if you can go a little bit deeper. Now, if this is bothering your knees, as with anything, we want to modify it for you. So if it does bother you, you need to stay up tall. You can hinge at the hips here, get a little bit more in the glutes, okay? But if it doesn't bother your knees, you can go down into that lunge. Couple more here. Try to make sure that your knee stays aligned with the toes. Everything's staying aligned. Good. And last one, march it out right here. All right, we're gonna need to do some side to side stuff. So tap out to the side, lift the arms. Gotta get all of our planes of motion. This is our frontal plane. Ooh, what? You didn't know you were in class. <laughs> all right, we're gonna add our transverse planes. So we're gonna add that twist. So we're twisting and pressing as we step out, twist and press. You'll get that stretch in the upper back. If you want a little bit more, I see my heart rate monitor is going up. Bend down, bend the knee, get low, but always make sure that that patella, that kneecap, is in line with your toes. Chest is up, no hunching. Nice job. All right, back to center. Here we go. Squatting down, lift the leg and extend. Squat, lift and extend. So when we squat, we're gonna look down at our knees for just a quick second. Make sure they're aligned here, no caving in, no bowing out. And the kick is soft. Knee up first and then kick. As you're doing that, drive into the other leg. Push it down into the ground. You get to see the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Chest is up tall, abs are tight, shoulders down. All right, let's make this also a transverse twisting movement. Hand behind your head. Now you come up and just twist. Squat down, up, and just turn towards that knee. We're not kicking anymore. We're gonna use our abs. You don't need to crunch. We're not bending forward. Go at your own pace with this. I get this one will bring your heart rate up. It's gonna work. It's working for me. Woo! All right, here we go. Four more, four, three, 
two, and one. All right, heel taps, shake it out, roll those shoulders. That is it for our warm up. So I want you to keep moving around, keep walking, heel tapping, heel digs, whatever you need to do. Grab some water, grab your weights if you want that. Okay. Grab some coffee if you're like me, a caffeine addict. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I will give you a sneak preview. We didn't quite get a warm up of 50 minutes, but what we're gonna do is actually, our circuit here is gonna be about 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I started with 45, 15, but we'll actually start with 40, 20. So we're gonna do some side to side squats first. Now, if you want to add weight to this one, I recommend just one weight, okay? So for the first two exercises, you can just use one dumbbell. And then when we get to our bent over row, we'll use two. All right, get set up. We're gonna start in three, two, one. So hold the weight up at your chest, shoulders are down, step to the side and squat. Step to the side and squat. Now, when you're doing this, I'm gonna show you from the side. You're just going back and forth, okay? But we're sitting back, like we're sitting in a chair. Your feet can point forward or slightly turn out. That's okay too, as long as your knees follow, okay? And watch, I'm only going down so far as my back stays in neutral, okay? You don't need to go all the way down, A to G. All right, and last one. Give yourself a rest. Okay, our next exercise is a front raise. So we're gonna be lifting the weight up to the front this way, just at the shoulder height, okay? In three, two, one, go and lift. Good, abs are tight. You can have a slight bend in the knees. <laughs> Gigi, <laughs> come here, do you wanna work out? Well, not right now, honey, after we're done, after we're done. She wants to wear the Rapunzel dress. I don't blame her. Honey, <laughs> please, please, please. Honey, not right now. After we're done, after the movie's over, then we'll wear it. And done. Nice job. All right, you're gonna grab two weights. Hold on just a second. Sweetheart, after the movie's over, okay? Promise. No. Do you wanna come exercise or no? No. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm back. A little rough on our timing here, that's okay. All right, so from here, we're gonna do a bent over row, grab both weights, hinge at the hips, weights in front of you, nice flat back, abs are tight. Draw those weights up beside you and pinch your shoulder blades and down. So if you're wondering where to breathe here, breathe normally or exhale on the exertion. So when you pull it up, you're gonna breathe out. And this also helps to tighten up your core. Let's do a few extra seconds here. Five more seconds because we were a little late starting. And done, all right. Hang on to these weights. We're going to do our RDL. An RDL is a deadlift, but with your knees slightly bent. So hold the weights in front of you. Shoulders are back. Pinch those shoulder blades down, abs tight. Slide the weights down the front of your thigh, just till you feel that stretch in the hamstrings, in the back of your thigh, and then draw them up. So your knees can be slightly bent. You wanna squeeze at the top. Abs are tight. You don't need to go past tabletop position here, okay? And watch your back. If you feel this in your back, that means you're rounding like this. We don't want that. So abs tight, stick your hips out behind you and only go down so far as you feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Neck is staying aligned. Let's do one more here and bring it back up, okay. 
we get one minute of rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, take your minute of rest. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, so for our next group, we're going to be down on the ground. So make sure you have a mat or a towel or something um, to help you out. Now, our first exercise is push-ups. So you can do them on the wall here, like so. But I'm gonna show you on the floor your two options. Okay, so we can have knees or feet. When you're ready, hands aligned with your chest. Here, elbows go out to the side at a 45 degree angle and then push the floor away from you. So lower, body is straight like a board, abs are tight, glutes are tight, lower down, press away. Shoulders are away from your ears, all right. Abs are tight, keep going. I think something messed up with my timer. <laughs> That's okay, we won't do extra. All right, you're just doing as many as you can and I want you to do it slow and controlled so we can really establish that mind to muscle link. All right, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now let me give you a tip here while we're waiting to catch up with our timer. Um, if this is bothering your wrists, I want you to do them on your fists. So anything that we do, in this position, if it bothers your wrists, just make a fist or do it on your weight if you have a dumbbell, okay? And that will keep your wrist in a straight position. All right, for this next one, we're on our bellies. So we're on the floor, extend your arms overhead, keep your legs on the floor, lift up those arms and actually pull down into a W, okay? Extend pull back into that W. Extend and pull back. Still looking at the floor. Don't arch your neck. Abs are tight, kind of push them into the ground. Okay, squeeze in that middle to lower portion of your back, right underneath your scapula. Squeeze those shoulder blades down and back. This starts to burn, I'm not gonna lie. And done. All right, turn it over. We're going to do bridges. You can grab one dumbbell and put it on your lap if you want to. Okay, you're gonna lay back, feet aligned with your knees. Try to keep your heels a little close to your butt. Find what works for you. We're gonna lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. Now, as you press up, we don't wanna go up as high as we possibly can, that'll arch the back. So just go up as far as you can feel that squeeze in your glutes. We're focusing on that mind to muscle link. So really try and squeeze those glutes. Give me the million dollar squeeze. Yes, you have a million dollars in between your cheeks. Don't lose that money. <laughs> For some reason that always works. Money's a great motivator. All right, almost done. Let's get one more rep here and lower. Go ahead and get rid of that weight. And we'll be back on our backs. We're gonna do some bicycle crunches here. So a lot of people do these really fast. Like they're riding their bike as fast as possible. I don't want us to do that. I want us to do a slow bicycle. All right, so bringing up the knees, tightening up the abs like you're zipping up from your pubic bone all the way to your rib cage. And we're going to extend and then turn, and then switch. Nice and slow. The slower we go, the more control we have, the more we're actually using our abs. When you turn, try to get your chest towards the knee, not just your elbow, chest towards the knee. Nice job. You should feel this. Whew. Almost done, and relax. All right, roll to your side to get up. Save your back, and then you can step up. All right, grab some water if you need to. We have a little bit of a rest, and then we're gonna go right back into those side squats. All right, here we go. 
Go ahead and grab that dumbbell if you want to. Side to side squats, hold it up in front of you. And let's start to the left this time. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step out and squat. Now I like to have my feet turned out a little bit. So that really is up to you. I take a nice big step and I have a little turnout. That just feels more comfortable on my hips. But if you are here and you like to be forward and that feels comfortable for you with a nice small step, that is totally fine too. There are lots of different ways we can squat actually. And it can be individual. Abs are tight, bracing that core, keeping the chest up, and done. All right, we're doing our front raise. So just one weight, hold it in front of you, roll those shoulders down and back. Get a nice stable position here. <laughs> now it almost feels like we have too much time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, lifting to the front and down. Abs are tight. You can even squeeze the glutes to give you a little bit more stability here. We don't want to swing the weight up. We really want to feel this in the front of our shoulders, your anterior deltoid. You might feel it a little bit in your chest as well. That's okay. We'll take that. You don't need to go above the shoulder just up to the shoulder height. Three, two, one, and done. All right, grab your other weight. We're going to our bent over rows. I like to do opposite muscle groups back to back, either upper body, lower body, or pushing and pulling. It gives us balance, allows that other muscle to rest. Here we go, hinge at the hips, pull it back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then letting it drop in front of you. Now the biggest mistake most people make is they round their back here, okay? That's really not gonna work your back. It's just gonna give you a sore back. So even if you have to have your chest up higher, that's fine. I prefer this to rounding your back, okay? As long as you're getting that squeeze, wherever that squeeze is for you, right in between your shoulder blades. And rest right here. Go ahead and stand up, roll your shoulders down. We're going to do our RDL next. Same thing with that. I would prefer less range of motion and great form, pristine form, than more range of motion where you could potentially be rounding your back. So here we go. Sticking the hips up behind you, sliding the waist down. Pull it back up, squeeze your glutes at the top. You really wanna feel this in the back of your thighs. So as you're doing it, that's where I want you to focus. Stretch and squeeze. Feel the stretch, feel the squeeze. <laughs> Head and neck stay aligned. If you need to take a peek at the screen, that's okay. And squeeze, slide it down, and squeeze. Slow and controlled, moving mindfully. Last one, finish it out. All right, go ahead and set those weights down. I'm gonna skip our little rest minute here, and we'll go right into our push ups. So bring it down to the ground modified or standard or on the wall it's up to you here we go push-ups as many as you can slow and controlled press the ground away you can even grip the floor with your hands here's another place where you can do that breathing exhale on the exertion as you push the ground away Inhale, exhale. All right, we're almost there, come on. As many as you can. And done. 
Woo, take that little breather before we get down to our snow angels, reverse snow angels here. I guess they're actually W's. All right, let's bring it down to the floor. On the belly, abs are tight, push into the ground, extend the arms overhead, lift them up. Do not lift the feet. Bring them back into a W and then slide them forward. Head stays looking down about maybe three to four inches in front of you. Abs are tight. Squeeze. We want to really feel that squeeze in the back. Now, if this is a little bit too much, you can do one arm at a time. You can just do one like this and then switch. I forgot to mention that before, but you can always alternate them. Go ahead and bring it up and we're going to lay down on our backs for the bridges. Grab the weight if you want to. So, Weight on your lap is an option. Align those feet and heels, shoulders are down. And here we go, squeezing it up. Squeeze those glutes, a million bucks. That's what we're aiming for. Now, when you set it down, just try to touch and then right back up. No resting, no resting. If you're feeling this in your lower back, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> we want to feel it in our glutes. So stop, reset, tighten up those abs, and then just focus on squeezing the glutes. Okay. Don't go any higher than you can feel it in your glutes and done. Go ahead and set that weight to the side. We'll come back for our bicycle. So again, with this one, slow and controlled. It's hard for me to talk with this one because it's abs, right? So I'm just gonna go, but I want you to feel that cue. Zip it up, like you're zipping up your jacket to the front. Here we go, knees up, extend and turn. Go at your own pace. Keep going. If it's too much to extend, you can keep your knee bent and drop. Last one and done. All right, roll to the side, bring it up, little rest break. And then we'll do this one more time through, third round. All right, let's pick it up, everybody. Come back. We're gonna do this one more time and let's see how far we can go. So it's up to you. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more to this last round, you can do two weights for this squat. I will demonstrate here and see how we do, but whatever that is, pick up your weight. We're starting with that side to side squat again. Here we go, step out to the side and squat. Okay, so if you have two weights, hold them at your shoulders right here. Chest is still up really high, looking forward. Might feel a little burn. Let's do some extra. That was only the 20 second timer. Keep going. <laughs> I wanna give you a little extra burn here. All right, so here's how we're gonna do our little extra burn. I'm gonna to turn to the side. We're gonna just squat straight down and pulse. One, two, three. Stand up, squeeze those glutes. I'm gonna step out a little wider, it's more comfortable. Squat down, one, two, three, stand up. One more time, one, two, three and up. Woo. Set one of those weights down. We will use the other one for your front raise. So roll those shoulder blades back, catch your breath. 
We're going extra on the third round. That's always how it is. Here we go, lifting to the front and lower. Knees can be slightly bent, abs are tight. Now, if you want to get more out of this, because it is the third round, you go slower and we'll hold it for two seconds at the top. Here we go. Hold one, two, lower. Keep those shoulders down, two, and lower. One more time, hold it, one, two, three, and down. Nice job. Pick up that other weight. We're gonna go into our bent over row. So I'll show you how to amp this one up too with that hold. Woo, isometric holds, they really do it. All right, so hinge at the hips, get into your nice flat back position, abs are tight, shoulders away from the ears, draw it up and lower. Squeeze and let it down. Nice work. You should be feeling this in the middle of your back. All right, here we go. We're gonna hold it for two seconds. Hold and squeeze, two and lower. Hold up and squeeze, one, two and lower. Again, hold it up and squeeze, one, two, lower. Again, one, two and lower it down. Stand up, relax. <laughs> Take some of the pressure off of the back of your legs, your core, and we're gonna go into our RDLs, all right? So here we go. Feet are still facing forward, abs are tight, hinging at the hips. Slide the weights down your legs, keep them close to the body. The further away the weights are from your body, so say you're holding them way out here, that is way more stress on your back. We don't want that. So just slide it down and then squeeze at the top and squeeze, slide it down and then squeeze, draw it up. Maintaining that nice neutral spine. You got it. Neck stays aligned with you. Bring it up. All right. So we have a little break here. One minute break. You can do some active rest, heel digs like this for one minute. Grab your water if you need to. All right. If you just joined us, welcome. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go down to the floor for our next round for our push-ups. But I'll just remind you, you can do these push-ups on the wall you can do them on a sofa, you can do them on a bench. Just be careful doing them on a chair on the floor so the chair doesn't slide around, okay? So some keys for your wall push-ups. If you're gonna do them on the wall, keep your hands at about your chest height, not above. Chest height, step back, go on your tippy toes, lower yourself towards the wall like you're gonna bump your head and then just press away. Don't let your elbows flare here. We want them going back at 45 degrees. All right, let's get set up. It's gonna start in about 15 seconds. So get set up for your desired push-ups. Wall push-ups, modified push-ups on your knees, or standard push-ups on your feet. If you wanna go a little crazy, lift one foot in the air. All right, I'm not that crazy. Here we go. Lower and press that ground away. Keep those abs tight, glutes tight. Stiff body, straight as a board. Lower. Push the ground away from you. Now, again, if this is hurting your wrists, we go to the fists. Right here. Just like a martial artist. Punch the ground away from you. Now, this is a little harder, I'm not gonna lie. You might have to change up your stance. And done, relax, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do our prone snow angels or W's. Next, catch your breath, roll those shoulders back, 
Then we're gonna take it down to the ground. Belly down, abs are tight, hands above you. Right here, lift just your arms, not your legs. And then slide them back into a W, squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. Again, we're focusing on that mind to muscle connection in the middle of your back, underneath your shoulder blades. Don't arch your neck up, looking at the floor, about three inches in front of you. Go at your own pace, almost done, and relax. Whew. All right, bring it up, grab your weight if you want to. This is just- Hello, Irene and Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, uh, it was very great that you're doing it, but I have to prepare myself to start doing it with you. Thank okay. you so much. I like that, yeah, but I have to prepare absolutely. first. <laughs> okay. Have a nice day. Oh, great. See you next week. Uh, come back and watch the recording. You can always oh, okay. watch the recording. Oh, yeah. Too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Bye, uh, Jennifer. Uh, bye. Uh. All right. Bye. All right. Here we go. Weight on your lap, squeezing the glutes. If you want the weight, you don't need the weight. You can do it without. Pressing up and lower. Just touch down and then squeeze to press up. All right, here we go. Really focus. This will be your anti-sitting exercise too. Don't worry about the timer. Keep going. <laughs> here we go. Let's do 10 more seconds. I wanna do a squeeze at the top for the last one. Here we go. Let's all hold it up and squeeze for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, drop it down, get rid of that weight. We need to do our crunches here. All right, so here's that modification for you, okay? You can start with your shoulders on the ground, tap and tap, that's level one. Level two is bring the shoulders up, hands behind your head, tap and twist, okay? And then last one that I was doing was extend and turn. Here we go, pick your option, let's go. Slow and controlled, we're trying to bring our chest towards the opposite knee, not the elbow. We don't care about the elbow. Keep going. At your own pace. Are we almost done, Coach Aaron? Oh my gosh. 10 more seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Relax. Woo! I hope that gave you a little burn in your abs. Always feels good. All right. We're going to cool down. I'm going to turn off this annoying timer. <laughs> I could never keep time with that anyways. Grab some water and we'll start our cool down and stretch. And if you got to cut out early, no worries. <laughs> you can come back and watch the recording. Um, they will be on our GCC Wellness YouTube channel. So book, bookmark it, save it to your browser. You can come back and watch all of them. All right, let's go ahead and stretch it out. So what I want to do is start with some deep breathing. Inhale, arms up overhead. Reach back just a little bit and exhale bring it down reach up one more time inhale and exhale now with our exhale here let's fold forward flat back hands on your thighs to support you shoulders are away from your ears and extend the knees to get more of this stretch here 
in your hamstring. Now this is the back safe hamstring stretch. So if you have a healthy spine, you can bring your feet together, feel it a little bit more, and you can also drop all the way down. But if you have any low back tenderness, sensitivity, just keep it here. You can still get that nice stretch in your hamstrings. Okay, so it's an option to fold forward and get a lower back stretch. Not really necessary, but some people like it. When you're stretching, you wanna just go to the point of tension and then hold that for at least 20 to 30 seconds. All right, go ahead and bend the knees to bring it up. Let's find something that you can hold on to for balance. And then you're gonna grab the opposite foot. Okay, so grab your opposite shoe behind you, ideally your ankle, but if you can't reach that, hold on to your shoe like so, <laughs> whatever it is. Keep your knees together. I'll show you from the front here. So my knees are gonna to stay together. That's why I use the opposite hand because I don't want this to happen. This is not really stretching my quadriceps in the front. It's just kind of pulling my leg out. So with this, the idea is that you keep your knees together, then you stand up tall. You can even squeeze your butt, squeeze your glutes. You'll feel that stretch even more down the front of the thigh. Hold that here. Breathing deeply. Switch legs, same idea. Grab the opposite foot, keep the knees together. Try to bring that heel up towards your butt and then don't let the hips bend. Press them forward by squeezing those glutes. Nice deep breathing. Focus on relaxing that muscle, relaxing the tension in that muscle. As you hold it, you might actually be able to go a little further. So watch for that release of tension. See if you can stretch a little bit more. Go ahead and release that stretch. Let's take it down to the ground. We did a lot of shoulders, back today. So I wanna make sure that we respect those muscles and stretch them out. So on all fours here, you're gonna take one hand, slide it through along the ground and drop your head down towards the ground until you find that stretch in your mid back. Palm faces up. Try not to lift your, let your hips shift like this. So keep them aligned with your shoulders so we can get that nice twisting stretch. And bring it up slowly, let's switch sides. Other hand, slide through, palm faces the ceiling. Drop your head towards the floor. And then try to create that distraction there, pulling that shoulder away. and bring it up again nice and slow all right from here i'm actually going to stay right here hands underneath the shoulders 
knees underneath the hips, extend one foot out to the side, and we'll get that nice inner thigh stretch here, and then rock back and forth five times. Let's do five times, nice and slow. Rock back towards your heel, two. And five. Let's go ahead and switch. Extend the other leg out to the side and sit back to that heel. Just go as far as you can. You start to feel this stretch a little bit differently in a different area of that inner thigh as you press back. This is also a great warm up stretch, by the way, <laughs> especially if you're doing a lot of legs. All right, from here, bring it back in. Let's go ahead and take a knee here and then press up to standing. And let's do a chest and shoulder stretch. Clasp your hands behind your back. Try to press the heels of your hands together here. And now what you're gonna do is open up that chest and press those arms towards the floor. You can get a little bit better of a stretch as you take in a nice deep breath. Expand your rib cage. Oh, yeah. Stretches those shoulders, the tops of those shoulders. And if you can't press your hands all the way together, that's totally fine. Right here is totally fine. But the focus is extending here and getting that nice stretch, pulling those shoulders away from your chin. One more time, one more nice deep breath. and release it. That is it. We are done for today. Give yourselves a round of applause, a hand, and of course, feel free to email myself, erinstateglendale.edu, or Jason Plord, um, our wellness coordinator. If you have any questions about the schedule or about exercises, you can always email me as well. Have a great day. I'll see you later.